Hi, and welcome back to another episode on... Well, today is going to be a little more different. It's about detecting threats, detecting hackers who are trying to break into your servers. So right in front of us, I have Kyle Linux running. And of course, Kyle Linux is going to be the hacker's machine. And in this case, I'll be doing a number of authentication attempts through Secure Shell to try and gain access into a server. And of course, what can we do to detect if the hacker is trying and attempting to log into your site? So I can go to the top left corner. I can open up terminal. And what I can do now is to go ahead and attempt to log into the site. So I can enter SSH followed by the IP address. So in this case, I can enter 192.168.0.212. And of course, if you have your server hosted on the internet, and if you see a lot of all these different kind of attempts or secure shell, you want to be able to know who are those bad actors, who are those threats that are coming in, and then put them into a ban IP list. All right, so I can go ahead and enter now, and it states the following. Enter the password. So I have no idea what is the password. I don't even know what is the username. So I'll just attempt some password field, all right? And then it will give us the following, which is permission denied. Please try again. So now what I'll do is go ahead and enter, say, some other password again. All right. So I'll just enter some random characters, hit enter on it again. Permission denied. Please try again. So I'll go ahead and enter something else again. Let's see what happens. So once again, permission denied. Public key, comma, password. So we do not have access into the site. So now what I'll do is that I know what exactly is their actual username as well as the password view. So now I will log in properly and correctly into the site, okay? So hit enter on this, and now enter the actual password. I hit enter on that, so now we're in. So we have a successful access to secure shell into the website. So once you're a Linux server administrator or Windows server administrator, you want to know exactly where are those log files. So what we can do now is go ahead and enter tail, var, all right, log slash off dot lg. So this are what we call authentication attempts, all right? off.log. So hit enter on this and you see the following. Okay. So we got the following. We have the check pass, all right, user unknown. All right. And then we got the following authentication failure, log name. All right. And we got the attempting IP address. So this is the IP address who is trying to log into our site. And of course, as you can see here, failed password for invalid user Loing Liang Yang from 192.168.0.192. Okay. And of course, likewise, check pass, user unknown, failed password again. Okay, check pass, user unknown. And of course, we have again, failed password for invalid user. And finally, we got accepted password for MSF admin from the IP address. And this is really important because what we are trying to figure out here is to think about what happens during a brute force attack, which is very, very common. If you open up your server onto the internet and you will realize that a lot of Hackers, a lot of robots are actually attempting brute force attack or secure shell to gain access into your server, which is why we want to understand what are those IP addresses they're attempting all this. And if you see, for example, a particular IP address has more than five, 10, 100 failed login attempts, you want to immediately put that particular IP address into your stateless or stateful firewall and drop all packets coming in from the IP address. So once again, this is a short learning tutorial for you, and I hope you learned something valuable in today's session. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer any of the questions. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you can become abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.